So we're very thrilled to have a moment to speak with Senator Mike Enzi. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Congratulations on your new endeavor. Thank you. We've had quite a response. People that love Wyoming from all over the world are finding yeah. us and we're thrilled. Well, Wyoming is one of the best kept secrets in the whole world. So I'm glad that you're exposing us <laughs> so that more people will understand the great lifestyle that we have here in Wyoming. Absolutely. And your well, magazine will do that. Thank you. That's that's always our goal. We're so proud of, of what we do and, and who we represent, and we just feel like we, we have an opportunity to be a vessel, and that's all we are, so we're very thrilled. Yes. But uh, Well, that's the same with our delegation. We're just so proud to represent Wyoming and people like you that have the entrepreneurial spirit that are ready to go out and do something new. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you. I appreciate that. And it's, a, it's great to see you here today at the Centennial Farm and Ranch celebration, such an important part of our agricultural industry in Wyoming, our history, our future, all that. So. Yes, yes. Well, we're a relatively new state. Some of these farms and ranches have been here longer than our state. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think 1874 was the earliest one, and mm -hmm. all of them have been here more than a century. That's Pretty awesome. amazing. It is. Yeah. It really is. And that they've all been in the same family, and that yeah. they're looking into the future and their and their uh, their viability into the future and what we can do to help them with yeah. that. Well, and that's really a big part of preserving the viewscape of Wyoming. Mm -hmm. These ranches that stay as ranches mm -hmm. are huge yes. and uh, beautiful. I want to assure you that this is the only place in the whole United States where an entire delegation is celebrating anything. <laughs> Of course, most of the delegations don't even like each other, but uh, I'm an old shoe salesman and accountant, and I got joined by Wyoming's doctor, and then the latest addition to our team has been Cynthia Lummis, and that brings the farm and ranch uh, culture even closer. Uh, Diane and I got married, and we started a shoe store in Gillette. It was during the boom. It became the energy capital of the nation, but what kept us in business were the farm and ranch people. The loyalty of the farm and ranch people, which is a part of your culture, is what kept us what kept us going. And I thank you for all that you do with your families, the way that you value the land and preserve it, the way that you keep open spaces, and just the general spirit that I see as we come to this event. Thank you so much for all you do, and congratulations. Well, thanks for joining us today on WLM-TV's The Ag Scene. We've enjoyed visiting with some of the families that have been celebrating 100 years or more in farming and ranching in Wyoming. We got to talk to some of the special dignitaries that were attending the event and enjoy some of the festivities. This is a very impressive time and something that they celebrate the State Fair in Douglas. So thanks for joining us today on The Ag Scene.